Like the drills here, right, if these or anything else, the idea of, of being cooperative with the drill is really important. Like I can't stress that enough, right? There's a time and place to train hard, spar, you know, really like make it a super like tough kind of training at the end of class or you're training for a tournament or something, but this isn't the time. This is the time that you improve these like mechanics, these fundamentals. Just like if you're a boxer, it might be hitting like a speed bag, right? If you're a Muay Thai guy, it might be working on your knees or your elbows or your hip movement or whatever, you know, your footwork. This is the same idea. The more you let go a little bit and just be more relaxed and just work on your timing and being sensitive to like the movements of, of, your, per, of your partner's hips and, you know, the angles, stuff like that, that's when you're really going to notice the difference in your, in your game, all right? I find the key to the triangle is really that overbite here that comes with lifting my hips and straightening my leg and I'm really punching the side of John's neck here with that leg. I'm punching it here and coming down. It's not just this lift and throw up the triangle kind of haphazardly like that. Too easy for a guy who's halfway decent just to defend that hair stack out of it, whatever. The idea is that really as I'm coming out is that foot comes to the hip, I'm controlling the sleeve or the wrist and I'm lifting and I'm biting. I'm really punching that side of my knee here, or my thigh, I guess more likely here, a little higher, right into that carotid artery. Boom. Yeah, that looks good. Now as soon as you put that foot on the hip, now switch. So I gotta get here, I pull, and I lift. At the same time, guys, it has to be quick. It has to be pull and bite, all right? Boom. As you get more comfortable with that pull and lift at the same time, speed it up a little bit. That's the only part of this movement that has to be fast. Once you get that and you hold your own shade or your own foot or whatever, then you can take your time to the triangle. That initial bite has to be fast. Once you master that, I would suggest if you're going to practice the technique later on or you know, going forward, just drill that part of it like a hundred times. I'll seriously take someone, like in my morning class in Norwalk, I'll take someone here and I'll literally just do this a million times. I'll start here and I'll just do this. Boom. Just a million times. Because that's the part, it just has to be like one quick pop, like one quick punch with your hips here and seal. All right? You guys are all doing a great job of that now. So once we get here, look, all I'm going to do now, key detail on the triangle, I don't care how you're setting it up, from guard, from top, however, right? However you learn this. Flying triangle, if you're 20 years old and like really athletic, all right? I'm not either of those things. So here, I reach up and I hold my shin. I think this is the biggest problem that guys have with the triangle, right? Is that they get here, maybe they're not, oh, you know, I don't have long legs. I can never get the triangle on anyone. I'm not flexible, I can never finish it. No, it's because you're not letting your opponent be here long enough to actually make the finish happen, right? So once you get here, guys, look, this is key. I don't just bring my legs over like that and finish it. Fine, maybe against the guy, you know, or a woman that's not very experienced, or I'm quick enough, I can make that work. But what I want to do here is I want to literally give myself an insurance policy. So once I clamp, I reach up and I hold my shin. All right, I want to try to avoid holding my toes here. I don't want a broken ankle here. You know, if this is all you can grab, if you're not very flexible or you're legs are real short, do the best you can. But if you can, try to grab your shin. All right? This is my insurance policy, right? A lot of people like to put that foot on the hip. I still like to do this the most basic way I was taught when I was a white belt. And that's put my foot on the mat and use it to walk my body out perpendicular, all right? The key here to the triangle is the word angle, right? The more of an angle that I create here, the easier it's gonna be to bring this leg over and get a really nice seal to finish the position, all right? So if you're straight on, maybe you have really long legs, you can make it work, right? But I have a really big guy here or someone that's experienced in defending this position, defend a little bit, please. Yeah, maybe it's not that easy to finish it from here. So once I get here, I reach up, hold the shin, foot to the floor, and I walk that shoulder toward his knee. You guys, look, if you want a little help here, just come inside of his leg, you can hold the gi, you can come inside and use that to spin yourself over here, perpendicular. Beautiful, now I'm in position, all right, watch. I lift myself up again, and I clamp. Key detail here is there's three pressures for finishing the triangle, all right, and we'll, we'll discuss these a little more in detail here after we work the technique. 
But the idea is I want to curl my toes. That's number one. You feel that already? All right. I'm not even you and the other two. He's already tapping. I curl my toes. I squeeze my knees together and I lift my hips. It's three pressures working together here. It's not just uh, squeeze the crap out of the guy's neck. It drives me crazy when I see people do this. Uh, pull down on the guy's head. That's uncomfortable, but you can survive that, right? It's toes in, knees in, hips up. All right, that's tight, and it goes on really slow. All right, not even using my hands. I mean, if I really need to pull down on the head or adjust it or whatever, I will. But usually, those three are enough to make the legs go up. If you remember one thing about tonight, even the advanced guys, right? I want it to be this. Right here. This is key, I'm telling you. I don't know how many times this has helped me finish a triangle that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten on someone that is either A, bigger or stronger than me, B, you know, C, more technical than me, whatever. The beautiful thing about this right here, come down here, is that the more perpendicular I make myself here with this foot on the floor, right? When John's just slowly stacking now, He's not stacking into me anymore. He can't. Why? Because come back down. I'm blocking him from coming into me now because I'm this way. I'm not underneath him anymore. I'm to the side of him, right? I'm perpendicular to him. He's going to stack me over here. I shouldn't say he's going to stack me. He's going to stack himself this way. His head is going to come down. Go ahead, stack. All right? Good. Come back. He's no longer putting my knee to my head and creating pressure on me. Go ahead one more time so I can see. Yeah. He's no longer doing this so he can pass my guard. I just got rid of that problem by moving underneath him here. What is this leg doing, guys? This leg is base, right? Go ahead, push me that way onto my side. I got my leg there. He can't push me. He's really strong. Go ahead, push me. Really strong. Oh, maybe I'm losing it. All right, cool. I'll lock it. You have that locked. You don't have to go crazy to finish. You don't have to spaz out, go 100 miles an hour, squeeze the crap out of the guy's neck. No. Once you're here, Bigger angle and just slow. The triangle is a blood choke, right? It's slow, right? It's like the kind of thing where it's you put your hands in the guy's collar to choke him with a regular collar choke. You're not doing this. Oh, you're doing this, right? Gradual. It's the same thing. You're squeezing, lifting, and turning those toes. And it's, it's going to work. Guaranteed it'll work. Some people are stubborn. They don't like to tap right away. The longer that you have that position, the more relaxed you are, the more you can wait it out, right? If you just squeeze 100 miles an hour, burn out, you get tired, and then you're like, oh, this guy's gonna tap, you let it go, right? And sometimes that's okay, I'm not saying to hold a position, if you don't have it, you don't have it, let it go, go to something else, but be relaxed when you finish it, as long as you have all those components, all those pieces in place, you'll, you'll finish it, you will. Maybe not right away, but the more you do it, the more you practice it, you'll finish it. All right, guys, cool, awesome job, guys, thanks for having me, thanks to Charlie and John. <laughs>